Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to ATM Spellbound. Uh, so since the last episode, it has been a little bit of time. Um, not a whole lot of time, I've just started getting some stuff kind of prepared to work on this weekend. Uh, let's just pop down. Uh, I'll probably be working on the blood magic area, the underground, and the teleportation hub, and rebuilding the Gaia arena, I think, this weekend. Because I'm going to want to fight the Gaia... Uh, some probably next week, but uh, I did go ahead and I closed up some of these ravines uh, I still got a little bit of work to do and basically adding a lot of like plants and stuff uh, Ran up a lot of frames down through here uh, to make this kind of uh, As you come down, it's like all more kind of jumbly and wild uh, down here uh, and basically built out a pillar here and uh I'm going to clear out some of these drip stones. I'm going to keep a lot of them, though, uh, and place some, probably. And I closed up a ravine, or a, a cave entrance here. Uh, that's actually one where we had done some mining. And uh, I'm going to leave this one, though. Uh, but I think I closed up all the rest of them. That way, I've kind of got an end point. Because otherwise, you know, it's just kind of like continue building. When it's like infinite <laughs> ravines and stuff that keep connecting. Uh, so, I closed up a lot of those. Uh, so that we have kind of a more uh, a more specific area to spend our time building and all that stuff. Lots of plants and things. Uh, but to that effect, in order for me to be able to build this, I need a lot of plants coming in. Uh, so we're going to be remedying that today, uh, as well as a few other things. Uh, now let's go ahead, let's actually pop up first. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to start off today with Mystical Agriculture, and then we're going to switch gears uh, we got a check mark ta uh, task. Actually, on that note, there is a just a bunch of check mark quests and stuff, uh, basically telling you about how to harvest things and stuff. Uh, farming for food. Uh, actually, the very best method for farming for food is not in here, and we're going to actually be setting that up today. Whoa! Cows, zombies, mystical world, tannin, rabbits, mystical agriculture. Or Piglin Farm. <laughs> That's ours, and it produces a ton of leather. Uh, all right, sounds good. And this. Just so we can get these out of the way. Uh, okay, so anyways, they want us to get the Infusion Altar and the Infusion Pedestal. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and knock this out. Red carpet. I think I'm actually probably going to need more for this. Yeah. And just get... Some red carpet, the cool kid way. Seven, eight. There we go, there was our infusion pedestal. Now let's pop back up. We're gonna go ahead and set up the infusion altar. Uh, is it two blocks out, I wanna say? Oh, placing the altar down apparently makes a visual. I didn't realize. Um, now it's actually just a little too big to put in here. Actually, right here, I can make that work. In fact. So yeah, let's do, can I not put you on top? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And we'll build this area out, because I was planning on this actually sticking out anyways. Like, you come up here and you go off to the left and there's just the altar up here. Uh, kind of out of the way, because we'll only use it a little bit, but. All right, there is our infusion altar. Now to get our infusion crystal, it is alchemy array, earth crystal. That's okay. Yeah, we can do that. That's not a big deal. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's pop home for just a moment. Let's pop down to the blood magic area. We're going to barely touch elemental craft today. Not really going to... Uh, I forgot it took that, but I kind of want to get... Because it kind of goes... I just want to get this out of the way, and it kind of goes with what we're going to be setting up today. and th Thematically, it goes with it. Uh, okay, so to get the infusion crystal, the first one is... Uh, growth reagent and the second one is binding reagent. So let's just go ahead and get those two Okay, so let's go ahead toss that in there. We'll get that one running And that way we've got that Okay, and we're gonna need an earth crystal for this. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's grab some of our inert crystals uh, Let's go ahead Actually, let me make some more gold nuggets because I know I'll need them and then let's just go ahead and get a stack of contained crystals. That's going to be more than what we need. Uh, I guess really, 
we could go ahead and knock out some of these these quests. Element shards. Yeah. Elemental craft is actually a really fun mod. We're going to be doing a bit more with it uh, here fairly soon. There we go. And then in art crystals. There we go. And then contained crystals. We already did it. Uh, impaired element pipes. There we go. There's eight of those. We're going to use those in just a minute. And then they want us to get the small element container. Luckily for this, we really just have to barely brush against elemental craft. Like it's not much uh, that we're supposed to do. Uh, and then we need the element infuser. But I'm actually really excited to start into elemental craft because like I said, it's a really fun mod. Uh, okay, so now we're ready to go. That's all pretty much all the elemental craft that we need. Uh, and then all we have to do is just take our in art crystal. Uh, let's pop into, I guess the overworld. And we need to find an earth node. Um, which shouldn't be too difficult. So uh, bear in mind that depending on the area, it's going to kind of influence the type of nodes that you find. Earth tends to be pretty common, but you can really find it around mountains and stuff. Uh, so if we don't find one pretty quick, we'll go to a mountain. Uh, fire, you're going to be able to find a lot of like in the nether, but you can also find them like you could even find fire in an ocean. It's just less common, uh, you know, than finding water, for example. Uh, let's see. There's one right here. This little glowy thing. I did not make a, uh, a collector. Element extractor. Let's grab this. Let's take our small element. It's too high. Our small element container. We're going to put that right there. And then we're going to put our element extractor right here. This is going to start collecting that earth essence. You can see it filling up there. Uh, and then... We're going to run this out. I'm going to need one more container. We're going to put our element container right here, our element infuser right there. Go ahead and right click that so it's extracting. There we go. And then we're just going to take our in art crystal, pop that on there, and we're going to give it a minute and it's going to turn that into an earth crystal. There we go. That's all we need. Uh, so we're going to put this down, we're going to put down our growth reagent, our earth crystal, get that going. Uh, I'm just going to break this down for now. It will store the earth essence, so we've got that, but uh, here pretty soon we're going to be using those. Uh, okay, so now let's pop back home, and out of curiosity, can I just make this indestructible? Because, well, it's a thousand uses. Technically, we could get to the master uh, without needing it to be indestructible. But let's just go ahead, give it a shot. Uh, there's also the evaporator. Uh, we actually, we might use the evaporator uh, at the start since we do have so many crystals built up. Realistically, we probably will use it to start out uh, and kind of make our way to where we can move the nodes once we, once we actually start elemental craft. Uh, get to where we can move the nodes and then... Uh, switch over from the evaporator, I think. So there we go. We have an indestructible infusion crystal. Let's see if this works, and let's infuse. It still uses it. Well, I tell you what. Durability seven forty three might be like the chalk where. We have to repair it, maybe. Or it may not be able to be repaired, I don't know. Ah, but you can't be repaired. Okay, that's fine. Oh, uh, we got a stack. Let's see, for the master. We basically just need two Insanium Essence for that. 318 uses left. We're going to toss that in there. We're not going to need it anymore. Uh, okay, so for this one, the Insanium Gemstone. Oops. 
that and that. And then we'll go ahead and just do this one real quick. There we go. I'm still holding on to my book for some reason. Okay, well now we have the Master Infusion Crystal with unlimited uses. And it's going to have to fade in more Inferium. That's fine. Uh, okay, so now at this point, uh, let's go ahead get the prerequisite out of the way. There's Inferium Seeds. What all do I need? Inferium and Prosperity Seed Base. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just get a stack of these. So that we've got them. And it looks like they want the farmland first. Uh, netherite hoe? Sure, sounds good. There's that. There's that. Uh, let's go ahead and just get all the farmlands because this is going to open up the quest for all of our different seeds. There is Tyrium farmland. Imperium farmland. Supremium Farmland, Insanium Farmland, there we go, quest completed, there's all the different farmlands. Okay, so that's going to open up all the different quests for mystical agriculture for us at this point. Okay, uh, I think I have 1500 stacks of Inferium Essence here, uh, not to mention I know I've got other, <laughs> I know I've got other drawers set up with it. Uh, for example, we have another 290 stacks over here, uh, and I could easily buff up the speed of all this coming in, no problem. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll be good. Now let's pop up, uh, we're going to craft one seed on camera just to go over it, uh, but I'm not going to spend, yeah, this might be the fastest route, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing mystical agriculture because I'm not planning on doing more with it than really just getting through the quest for the most part. I may set up a few seeds, but uh, it won't be much, you know. Uh, so let's find a seed that we want to make. Oh, actually we have uh, dragon scales. I was going to breed a bee for it. I think we can do that. Okay, let's grab this. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to be automating our essence here in just a moment. Uh, okay. Let me zoom, fill this up real quick. But I know we're going to need some of this for the ATM star, so uh, I'd rather just go ahead and get it automated because I'm kind of just voiding it. We've got a lot of essence coming in, but we're just kind of voiding it at the moment. Uh, the Dragon Egg Crux is going to be this right here. Let's go ahead and grab that. And then for the Dragon Egg Seeds, it is uh, Insanium Prosperity seed base. We're just going to go ahead and make like the most powerful seed in the game to start with. That, 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 that. And all you got to do is hit it with some redstone. Boom. We're going to get a little animation and we're going to have dragon egg seeds. And of course these have to be planted over a dragon egg crux. So let's go ahead, let's grab our Insanium Farmland, let's grab that, that. What we're going to do is we're going to dig down, we're going to put our Dragon Egg Crux there, our Insanium Farmland, our Dragon Egg Seed. Let's grab our Tum in a Bottle. There we go. And we got our very first Dragon Egg Essence. Uh, and nine of these will make a Dragon Egg Chunk. Three Dragon Egg Chunks make a Dragon Egg. That's all well and good, but we're just going to leave this here for now. Um, I don't care anything about harvesting it at the moment. We'll come back to that. But what I do want is I want it fully grown. I want it sitting here fully grown. I guess our next order of business is just going to be automating our essence compression. Let's open up ours. Uh, we actually have seven Wixie shards. So that's perfect. But we're going to be doing a little bit with ours today. Uh, now, do I have... I do have a Dominion Wand. Let's go ahead and get ourselves seven cauldrons. Uh, and we're going to be setting these up. And of course, they're going to get source from nearby source jars. So uh, we're just going to let them pull from these. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to set up three cauldrons on this side. We may end up expanding uh, that as well. We'll see. Uh, and we're going to put four. 
we're going to put four cauldrons over on this side. And let's get a couple chests. We'll go with diamond chests because why not? Uh, okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put in, let's see, let's actually break those three lava lilies. Uh, we're going to put in, can I get the, well, let me just remove this. We're going to put in a diamond chest right here. Just kind of tucked in behind all of this. Uh, on this, we're going to put an output routing node here. Uh, let's do it. Let's set up a filter for this. And this filter, we're going to say you'll allow inferior essence. <clears throat> and something actually I don't remember is where they put their stuff. And something I don't remember is where do they put their stuff? I can't remember if they drop it. Uh, so let's go ahead and upgrade these real quick. Uh, so it's going to be brewing stand, sapling, emerald, crafting table. Uh, so that, 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 and our Wixie shard. We'll let that craft up real quick. Uh, and we're going to be crafting seven of these. Uh, and we can go ahead and turn these into Wixie cauldrons. So just right click, right click, right click. I want all three of these to become Wixie cauldrons. And so they're going to have the little Wixies hanging out on top. Uh, and they're going to be getting source. Basically, they're going to have pretty much infinite source. There's so much source storage in this room that I think will be okay. If not, we'll bump up the source creation. But I think we're going to be all right. Uh, and then let's go ahead and we'll turn these over here into Wixie cauldrons as well. Now, we had some trouble with these on Stacia, but uh, from what I've heard... They've been fixed, so. Uh, and, I mean, they worked, but they would start crafting air blocks for some reason. And, uh, I don't know. Ended up having to remove them, but. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, let's take the Prudentium. And, actually, I'm going to need to make another Master Infusion Crystal because the chests are so far away, but that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to right-click, right-click, right-click. We're going to tell them that they're making Prudentium. And you can see up at the top left, it says Crafting Prudentium Essence. Uh, and they're basically going to search nearby chests. And so if we grab some Inferium and Master Infusion, you're going to see they're going to start taking that and they're going to start crafting it into Prudentium. Uh, now, is it, are they putting it back into the chest? Oh, they actually throw the Master Infusion out. We'll have to make a, a few infusion crystals for this to work out for us, but that's okay. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set this to allow, and we're going to say Inferium Master Infusion. Uh, keep, let's say keep 9 Master Infusion, and then let's say keep 500 Inferium Essence. And we'll just put that in. The Master Infusions are cheap enough that... Uh, I don't mind. I'll just need to make a bunch of binding reagents uh, and then we'll have to let them uh, do their thing and and then I'll probably just craft up a bunch of Insanium manually. I don't need that much, really. Uh, okay, so that one's configured. Now this one over here, we're going to set up another output node and another filter. And for this one, uh, we're going to be saying that you allow Prudentium, Tyrdium, Supremium, Imperium, Master Infusion. And you can have, say, 12 of those. You can have uh, 200 Imperium, 200 Supremium, 200 Tyrdium, 200 for Dentium. And I'll probably end up adding two more cauldrons, two more Wixie shards to this. So we got five crafting. Really, we could do even more and have them up the wall. We might. Okay, so let's set up our output node here. It's going to be feeding over to the chest. That should be good. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do, let's take our standard item filter 
Uh, this one we're going to be configuring for the input. So, you know, where all the items are coming from. Uh, so we're going to have Inferium, Prudentium, Tyrdium, Supremium, Imperium, and Master Infusion. And we're going to put in here one, and then we're going to go 64, 64, all the way down the line here. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to tell it it can pull these items out as long as it's there's at least 64 in the system. Uh, so make sure that we've always got some of these on hand, but the rest of them can go uh, to the chest for the Wixies to craft. Uh, so then we're going to go ahead. And actually, I should have right down here, I've got a system that I think has space. It does. Uh, we're going to set up this input node over here. And we're also going to be setting up an output. And we'll get to that output in just a moment because I'm going to have to go make some more filters real quick. Uh, but let's go ahead and run this over. That can run over to the master. The master can run over to here. And we should say, there we go, there's our Inferium coming in. And link that to here. Okay, now if we throw this stuff in, we should say that it's not going to get pulled out. It's going to make sure that we've always got a master infusion for our own use stored within the system uh, before it pulls out any masters. Uh, okay, so now, uh, let's see, do we want to use a carbuncle for this? Yeah, let's, let's use a carbuncle, and hopefully it'll work out for us. If not, you know, we'll have to change it, but... I'd like to do something a little bit different for our crafting because I was debating between like Batania. I mean, Batania would be faster. Okay, so for this, we're going to want our Dominion Wand uh, and we're going to be setting up. I've got to craft another input uh, for sure, but we're going to have an input node. Huh? Huh, I must have updated this whenever I placed that, and now for some reason we can't put them in rich soil planters. Huh, I'll have to figure out. Uh, what I want to do there. I guess uh, one of the updates made it so that we can't do that anymore, which uh, is fine. It's kind of weird, but uh, maybe I can keep those two and those be decorative. I don't guess I can harvest them, but I don't have that much use for them, I guess. Uh, okay, so we'll put the input node then here. Uh, and then let's go ahead and set up our carbuncle, and we're going to tell this one that we want you to store your items there. And then we're going to set up another carbuncle, say right here, and we're going to tell him to store his items there. Uh, okay, so now if, for example, I didn't have the magnet ring on and something got dropped down near it, he's going to pick it up, he's going to take it, and he's going to put it in the chest. Now let me pop down, I'm going to have to make... Uh, some nodes okay so for our output we're just gonna put an empty deny list so anything can go in here uh, let's run a routing node there and connect that up and then we're gonna run it up to the master there uh, this master is going to connect to this input, uh, this input is just going to have an empty filter, and then we're also going to connect it up to this chest with an input there, and also with an empty blacklist filter. Okay, so at this point, if we were to throw down uh, if we had, say, the Master Infusion Crystal, we threw that down. Carbuncle should say it. It goes into the chest, and it goes back into the system. And then from there, it can get pulled back out, dumped into here. This should have refilled now. It did. That's great. Uh, okay, so at this point, what I need to do is I need to craft up uh, a few more Master Infusion Crystals so we have some in the system floating around. And if we find that we do need Inferium Seeds, we'll set some up. But I really think all we got to do is run the spawners. 
because this actually fills up extremely fast and uh, I haven't really been using it. And now we will have a use for it. So, uh, On this input node or output node, uh, let's go ahead and set the priority of this up to like 9. Uh, anything above 0 is fine because I do want it to prioritize sending uh, the infusion crystals to this one. Uh, and not the other one but long term it's not going to be an issue but i want it to go ahead uh, and be able to start crafting those uh, here in just a moment all right so let's pop back down to the blood magic area and i need to make a bunch of binding reagents there we go so it's the left side of the alchemy table there we go our carbuncle is actually having issues collecting it might honestly be best just to have an ender hopper yeah, I can see our carbuncle. They're still kind of as problematic as they were. There he goes. He's working now. He just gets really, really stuck on those source jars. Eh. Sorry, carbuncle. You've been replaced. All right, but you can see items kind of flying around. They're doing their crafting. But yeah, I might, I might get some more wixie shards and i mean they're easy enough to do just to spell on a half health witch but i was really wanting to be able to use them somewhere unfortunately i don't think the carbuncle is going to work out and i should probably remove the one from the other side they just get stuck on so much and you know it's one of those things you really don't want them not picking the items up because if like master infusion stones start despawning it's a little bit problematic um the Wixies seem to be working fine. I'll have to keep an eye on them. Uh, but it's just... I mean, I know there's more powerful options. I just really want to use them. You know what I mean? But yeah, if we find that after this weekend, if it hasn't really built up as well as I would hope, uh, then we'll change it up. But I just kind of want to... I want to give it some time. I want to throw a few more Wixies in there and, and just see. Because like I said, I just want to because it's something different. Something a little bit more fun than another fast crafter you know all right let's pop over i need to set up an ender hopper on that other one and remove the carbuncle and we're going to teach them how to make you can make terium essence you can make imperium essence you can make supremium and insanium uh, but they're waiting on the infusion crystals that, that's the main thing uh let me turn this one down it doesn't need that many yeah, they're making Imperium. They're waiting for Pretentium. So they're getting the recipes right. I was worried about them trying... I didn't think about it, but I was trying... I was worried about them trying to break these down. But they seem to be uh, actually doing it correctly and pretty intelligently right now. So that is great for us. Because uh, they should be looking at the chest and seeing, okay, there's Master Infusion, there's Tertium. So I can make, uh, you know, the Imperium and so on. I wish they wouldn't go through the walls. I'll have to play around and see if I can figure out... Uh, a fix for that but uh, they are making our essence for us so but like I said I'll keep an eye on it I'll let it run for this weekend I may have to change it I just really want to do something a little bit more fun than a crafty crate or something you know because Wixies they're like I'm just thinking if we could fill up the walls with these and just have like a whole bunch of them just churning out uh, essences and maybe even have to set up more in other places you know it might we might have to scale out to that degree uh to get them pumping out fast enough but i just feel like that would be a lot more fun than a single crafty crate plus we'd have witches flying around and bugging through walls i don't know uh carbuncles they're not going to work out for us we're going to pretty much have to go with the ender hopper because the carbuncle is still super dopey and i'll get some more uh some more master infusions but I've, actually i think they've got enough on hand right now uh, of course, this isn't getting sent over right now until it builds up a stack in the system. Like, it can send Prudentium, it can send Tyridium at the moment because, uh, you know, there is a stack in there. But Okay, now at this point, uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get a few things put together real quick that we're going to need because I don't want this episode to run over uh, for our next project. Uh, but I'm going to get some things together and I will be back here in just a moment. Okay, I had an idea. I was getting some stuff together and I was running some source over. I just plugged up a Vitalik source link, source jar, and then ran it down. Because, uh, of course, those baby gas are getting killed in the blood magic area and it's making source for us. 
just another free place to tap into source. But I had an idea. Uh, what we're going to do is, over the weekend, because I'll be on here building, I want to make sure that the Wixies run correctly. That they consistently keep running over the weekend, because that's a decent amount of time that I'll be on here building. Uh, make sure that they keep running, they keep working, they don't start crafting air blocks and just spamming the world with air blocks uh, like they did last time. And if they do, if they if they consistently keep working, what we're going to do is we're going to scale out. Because I still feel like it's a little bit slow uh, with just three of them making Prudentium. Uh, what we'll do then, at maybe the start of the next episode, spend a little bit of time. And we're going to set up a, a quick, easy automation uh, system with a mana turret to generate us just a ton of Wixie shards. And we're going to just scale out to a ridiculous amount. Uh, just a ton of Wixies. <laughs> And I'm thinking the room above the R's room, because I don't really have any plans for that. That would be a perfect room to just set up a horde of Wixies, all crafting essences, just constant, just making essences. Uh, and that could be our essence system is just a ton of Wixies. I just think it'd be more fun than like a super crafter, because we'll basically have to fill out a room with Wixies uh, producing Insanium. Because we're actually going to need more Insanium than I thought. Not a big deal, uh, because spawners, we can actually generate it extremely fast, uh, thanks to apotheosis and it's not like stacia where we needed like a million insanium or some ridiculous amount because uh, i'm usually not too crazy about farming it but i honestly i would think the wixie crafting just a horde of wixies will actually be kind of fun and kind of a funny thing to see too so uh, if it all if it all works out we're going to do that if not we'll switch gears and do a crafty crate or something you know not as exciting but we may have to. We'll just see how things go. Uh, but let's pop back up real quick. I'm going to need a couple things here. I'm going to need a summoning crystal. It's just this. And of course, they do need source to do the crafts. It's not much. It's a very minute amount of source. Uh, but they do consume a little bit of source to do their crafting. But uh, Right now, they're all still kicking away. And it looks like they've come back through the wall. So I might be able to seal that back up. Um... I'm going to kind of keep an eye on them a little bit this weekend, but uh, there is our summoning crystal. And then we're going to need our sylph shards, just one of them. Uh, mage bloom, mage bloom seed, source gem, sapling, diamond, spruce sapling, birch, and wheat. Okay. Okay, so let's get our sylph charm. And looks like we have, uh, it never counted my wixie charm. Oh, because I never got a summoning crystal. That's weird. You don't use summoning crystal for a lot of those, so. Uh, let's go ahead and get these rewards. Real quick, get those out of the way. Because we are going to set up the most powerful thing. I think we can actually have the source there. Though, actually, this block was just a marker uh, for basically the middle of the area. Uh, because, of course, sylphs, they check a... 10 block range in each direction uh, for stuff that they like and so I did go ahead and I marked out kind of the area uh, that we would need because I'm going to be turning this area into kind of like a lush uh, space for our sylph but we're going to go ahead and right click her uh, sylph seems very unhappy in her home try sprucing it up there is some diversity but could be better Oh, well, she's already gotten a bunch of stuff. You can see she got blaze buds, bamboo, pumpkins, crimson fungus, cabbage, netherrack. Apparently she can get that, and netherwort. Uh, where is she getting netherrack and netherwort from? She must be... Is she getting it from upstairs? Like, way up here? Because that would be where the blaze buds are. The crimson fungus. You know, I haven't actually started putting all those plants down there. And she must be getting the nether wart from way over here. How is her range that big? Wait, no, this room doubles, but still. I feel like that's crazy far. She's going to be getting, like, everything everywhere. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Well, what we're going to do, let's get an input and output. Uh, we're going to set up a drawer system... We'll put the drawer controller here, because I don't think I want it down there where she's at, because I think it would be a little bit awkward. Uh, let's set up an output, routing node, empty blacklist. 
Uh, and then we're going to link this up. So we'll have the routing node setting there because she's right up, or the drawer controller is right up in there. Uh, and then we're going to link that down to the master. The master then is going to link over to there. Uh, and then here we're going to have just an empty blacklist. Ah, oh, she's made more things. Dragon Egg Seeds and Dragon Egg Essence. Awesome. Uh, that's kind of my go That's why we set this up down here is that so that she can now just get that. Uh, we could scale out, add more seeds. She'd get more um, each time that she harvests. So we might do that if we find that we need more Dragon Eggs coming in. Um, there we go. She's got more things. But uh, we need to make her more happy. Of course, by just giving her more plants. Uh, so we're going to do that in just a moment. Uh, but now at this point, we can pop up here and just toss down, say, a spruce drawer. And there we go. We're going to start getting items into that. And then, of course, we can link this up the same way that we've done before with everything else. We can link this up uh, to our main system. And then we'll have basically all the plants, all the flowers, everything that we could ever want we'll have those coming in. Uh, so that's kind of my goal is to set this, turn basically turn this little nook into just a big drawer system for our sylph. And that way she can produce uh, tons of, you know, all this different stuff for us. Now, does she have enough for me to set up another drawer? No, she actually doesn't have anything right now, but we'll lock that in. I'm gonna have to put storage upgrades and void upgrades and all that into this. Let me go ahead and get like, say, 30 storage upgrades, and then let me get 10 void upgrades. And that way we make sure there's plenty of storage for her. I absolutely love Sylphs. I think they're amazing. They are extremely overpowered, now, let's be honest. They're stronger than cloches. They're stronger than any kind of farming ever. Uh, maybe not as fast as, you know, some, but uh, they are extremely, extremely powerful. All right, but let's go ahead. Let's turn her into a tree farm too. Let's start getting lots of uh, let's start getting lots of wood. Maybe I'll maybe I'll hide the wood under the floor because it doesn't really fit what I'm going for with this build. And I can basically just go through basically go through the alchemy table, get one of every type of log, and then put it here, and then she can farm it forever. Uh, I'm sure there are certain logs that won't work with her, but uh, the majority are going to. So uh, she's still very unhappy. That's fine. Let's uh, let's give her some leaves to farm while we're at it. Uh, now, can she get Wailing Blossom out of curiosity? I'm going to put one up there. We'll see if she can see that. But uh, but she's able to farm a variety of things. Um, certain things, I think, have been changed so that, that she can't get them. Uh, but as you can see, she can get mystical agriculture stuff. Uh, she can get netherrack. That one's kind of a surprise to me, to be honest. Oh, she got Grongle, Sticks, and Lukentrut. But at this point, what we have to do is just keep basically just filling this area up with all sorts of just plants and things. And what's going to happen, she's going to be able to farm all of these. And she's going to get happy because there's so many different plants in the area that she's going to farm it faster and faster and faster and faster. Uh, <laughs> yeah, looks good. Throw that nasty stuff on the ground. There we go, get some vermilion skulk going. Uh, it looks like she found crystal flower. I don't even know. It must be up there. I, I don't remember if I put crystal flower, but she's finding it. She's finding all the things. There's some rune wood. Uh, I've got enough stuff for two more drawers. Let's go ahead, set up a couple more drawers up there. Might actually end up upgrading her to a bigger chest, just to be on the safe side, because uh, she is a master at collecting all the junk. And by junk, I mean flowers. Uh, now she seems content, but she could be better. So there's enough plants here that she's a little bit happier, which means she's going to run faster. Uh, and she says it's extremely diverse, but she never turns down um, just more stuff. So, uh, Which basically, we can literally cram-pack this space full of 
every possible plant if we wanted to and every possible leaf and wood and everything and she's just going to farm it all every bit of it she's just going to collect it all oh she got a mandrake seed where where do i have mandrakes planted i don't even remember i guess i planted them up here this is like playing like where's the plant i don't even know what all i've stuck in that area up there to be honest and we kind of get to just start collecting all the flowers. And I kind of wanted this because I'm going to need to have a lot of flowers for decorating. Both the underground, you know, that's something I'm going to be working on this weekend. I need them for the underground, but then I also need them for uh, decorating the base as well. So, actually, can I do... Abyss grass? Honestly, I didn't even realize we had abyss grass. Ha <laughs> ha, yes, we can. I think that's going to look better, though, from the side than a normal grass block. Uh, and she can also farm our mystical flowers for us if we want. Uh, let's do magical sunflower. There we go. <laughs> Super garden. That's what we've got here. And the nice thing is, if we need something that's planted, like a crop, we can use the farmland from Mystical Agriculture to grow that. So we're going to grow Mage Bloom down here. And that way we don't have to feed it with, uh, give it water. And we could just grow it and it can just sit on that. It can't be trampled in case spiders or something like that spawn. Oh, look at all the stuff she's getting now. Wonderful. Ah, look at all that stuff. Great. Let's go ahead. We're actually going to turn her into a white sylph this one right here uh, so that way she looks just a little bit more magical uh, now technically we could set up additional sylphs in this area and then all just pumping out plants if we want to i don't know that we really need to because once once she's at full speed she's actually going to pump out plants at an extremely quick rate but let me get some nicer looking dirt like that yay there's your sea pickles <laughs> And of course, if we have water, uh, then we can put water plants down here too. And we can blacklist things if we need to, but I'm not planning on it. I'm just going to send everything. Just take it all, send it up there. Uh, these blocks are basically the range I had laid out, but uh, I still find it weird that she's getting all those plants from up there. That's another reason we started Mystical Agriculture today. So any seeds that I want, I can just throw them down here. If I run out of space, I can make floating little gardens that'll be fine i'm still wondering if she's going to see the wailing bell blossom because that would just make my life a little bit easier because i'm wanting a bunch of those but oh look at that we get fade dust apparently oh that's wonderful and i will say that i'm going to be setting up another sylph uh as well uh, in addition to this one it's going to be up in our house area though uh because i want one wow i'm out of lunar logs Probably because I used them for like everything. Uh, and I haven't been farming them that much. I've been just using wood essence. So. But we're going to have one up in our house in that little like greenhouse area. That little rounded glass in area. Because uh, it's going to be one for like our personal garden kind of thing. Um, but this one's just going to be like general plants. Like throw everything down here. And she's going to uh, she's gonna farm it for us. <laughs> we're getting ender pearls from something. I don't even know. I don't even know what is producing ender pearls, but that's fine by me. You are so wonderful. I feel like you just get better and better. Like every time I use you, you just get better. We've gotten her to where she says she appears happy enough. Now there is, if I recall, one more rank after this. So we will be shooting for that, but uh, I'm just gonna continue expanding on the amount of plants that we've got. Look at all the stuff we have coming in. So many things. Uh, you can see there's ender pearls. We're getting fertilized essence. Uh, we're getting crocus and dandelion and magical sunflowers. Uh, we're getting stuff from the abyss. We're getting stuff from the undergarden. We're getting stuff from man and artifice. Uh, the fey wild quark, literally all of like <laughs> everything. There's polar posies and exolius maximus. Like look at all this stuff. Uh, and the, like I said, the higher rank she gets, the faster she produces and the more she produces. But look at this beautiful, it's actually like so pretty. There's so many colors. 
There's so many colors. And basically what we have to do is we have to expand this out. It doesn't actually take that long. And with her pumping out plants, because like, you know, I only had one peony. I only had one lilac. I just picked up enough. Of course, I can bone mill those. But she's going to pump out plants for us to basically expand our garden. So she's kind of a necessity uh, for us at this point. Uh, the biggest problem is going to be actually storing all the stuff that she's making because she is making a literal ton of things right now. And then, of course, we just have to plug all this up to our system, at least, you know, what we want to have in the system, which probably all of it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have to basically plug all this stuff up uh, so that she can start sending it then into the system for us. How much of a dent did I make? Not much. There's so many things. This pack is prime for sylph farming, as you can tell. You know, we've used it in other packs, but this pack, it really shines. But just imagine once this is everywhere. <laughs> just plants everywhere. It's going to be like a big, fertile jungle down here. But anyways, I know it's about wrapping up point for this episode. So we're going to be ending this one out here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to keep an eye on the Wixies. Make sure that they keep crafting uh, and make sure that they craft all the way up to insanium my only concern is them trying to downside you know because there's that recipe to break down the essence so if they start doing that or something we'll have to adjust that's not really build breaking for us though it just means that we need to basically lay them out in a way where they're not going to be pulling items to break down they're going to say well i need to make prudentium and all i have is uh inferior and i need to make tier three and all i have is tier two you know uh so if we need to do that we will and if the wixies keep crafting well and they don't bug out on me and they don't just disappear or they don't start crafting air blocks then we'll do a big big wixie setup uh, at the start of the next episode it won't take us that long but we'll set up a quick automation to mass produce wixie shards and then basically just scale it out uh, to where it's a reasonable speed for us. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. And I hope to see you guys next time. Look like she got blindness back there. Those abyss plants, I tell you. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Okay, and just a heads up, I was, I was watching them for a little bit after... Uh, I was ended out the recording and I did notice that they were trying to downgrade. Basically they get up to the blue one and then they turn it back into the orange and then rinse and repeat. Uh, so what I did was I actually just have all of these crafting prudentium at the moment, uh, or crafting tyridium. And we're going to let that build up for right now. And then yeah, next episode, like I said, as long as they don't start crafting air blocks, uh, we're going to expand and kind of refine the setup and make it real big. Uh, because just sitting here watching them, I just love watching them just kind of fly around and chat, like fly to their cauldron and fly away and fly back to their cauldron. Uh, it's just actually, I don't know, it's like actually really relaxing. I love them as long as they're working. Like I said, it, you know, back on Stacy, we had a lot of issues with them, but uh, barring any issues, we're definitely going to use these, I think.